For many of us, mice are a throwaway item. They're cheap and they're plentiful, and so when they break, it's just easier to replace them than it is to repair. However, in the case of this leading edge ball mouse, which matches my leading edge 486 over there, I can't just throw this away. This is a hard piece to come by. And so when this ball mouse stopped working in one direction, I didn't have much choice. I had to save it. Now, I was so excited when I found this mouse in storage, and unfortunately, no matter which direction I move it in, the cursor only moves up and down. That was frustrating. Now, the easiest thing to do, of course, is to pull the ball and clean any gunk off of these rollers. So, you know, the procedure here is, of course, just take a flat blade screwdriver and just kind of scrape any gunk off of the rollers. And I did that with this mouse and I actually pulled it apart and cleaned the rollers with alcohol because again, this is just the easiest thing to do to try to fix this problem. Uh, unfortunately, after finding an entire sweater worth of gunk on the rollers, that didn't fix the issue. So it was time to pull this thing apart and take a look at what's happening on the internals. Now we can see the roller assembly sitting on top of the PC board here and our rollers are attached to these discs. So the discs sit between this infrared emitter and the sensor, and by turning, it breaks that light up. So this is known as an encoder, and we have one in both directions. And who knew ball mice used optics? That's uh, pretty awesome. So let's pull this thing apart and take a closer look at how these discs operate and how they break up the light. So if I take this roller assembly out of here, we'll be able to see the discs so you can kind of see a little bit let me pull focus here so you can see these notches in the disc and as i spin the disc you can see how the notches break up the light so that's how the mouse knows that it's moving but then in order to determine which direction it's moving in there are two sets of sensors for each direction and depending upon how the light gets broken up between the two sets of sensors is how we determine which way we're moving the mouse now, since cleaning the mouse didn't fix my issue, chances are there's something wrong with the sensors. So I'm gonna take a look here with my oscilloscope and try to find a good ground, first of all. And then I wanna see if we're getting any voltages to the infrared emitters, because unfortunately the infrared here is not able to be seen by my camera, so that would just be too easy. So let's take a look here. I think I found a signal looks like we are getting voltage, so it could be the emitter or the sensor that is bad. And so with the oscilloscope, I'm going to take a look at the known good position, and we can see as I spin that disc, we are getting a signal here. So let's try it in the left and right direction. Now this is the one that wasn't working, and there is a little bit of a signal. It's pretty weak. But if we look on these serial lines, we can see that we are generating signal on the up and down, just not the left and right. So it's just too weak to get picked up by the mouse's circuitry. One thing we can try doing is adjusting the sensors here for the left and right direction. So I'm actually bending them in just a little bit. And of course, we don't want to bend them in too far because then it can actually start rubbing against this disc here and, and that's just not going to work. So let me just try to adjust this a little bit further here. And by bringing these in a little bit closer, we can hopefully get a nice strong signal out of this. And holy cow, we have left and right movement for the first time in Lord knows how long this mouse has been sitting in storage, at least 20 years, probably more like 30. So that's actually a huge relief. That was a nice easy fix because I really didn't want to have to go try and source those infrared emitters and those sensors and have to replace them on this mouse. So this is actually a really lucky, easy fix. So if you have a mouse that is working in just one direction, simply check the alignment of your emitters and your sensors. It's pretty simple. So let's pop this thing back together. And as we're doing so, just make sure that we're not rubbing against those discs and there's actually a little bit of rubbing going on on the left and right. Up and down feels pretty good. So the nice thing is there is a tiny bit of wiggle room here too, uh, even with the screws in place. So I can push the assembly all the way back to just try to avoid that rubbing. 
and give it a quick check. Yeah, it's still rubbing a little bit. So I'm gonna adjust this just a little bit more and actually pop this guy back just a whisker. And yeah, it's pretty good rollage, but we could do a little bit better. So let me just pop this other one back. And oh yeah, that is some nice rollage right there. That's smooth and that's exactly how we want this. And if we look at our screen here, we can see, yeah, we've got left and right motion. Let's pop this baby back together and start playing some games. This makes me really, really happy because this was actually the mouse that we had from our leading edge computer growing up. It's unfortunately the only remaining artifact of one of my favorite gaming setups of all time, probably because it was the first multimedia system that we ever had. So I'm really, really excited about this fix. And we'll just pop it back together again. And yeah, that looks really, really good. So of course we gotta pop open some Minesweeper with our new mouse. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps you and we'll catch you on the next one.